Welcome back to part two of the Destroyer 1320 Garage Rebuild. We did a little bit of stuff since the last video, so let's go over what we got. So in the last video, we had taken out all the stuff I had here and replaced it with this cabinet. Uh, I had to work, so I got a makeshift desk pretty much and kind of set up my stuff so I could actually do work online. And this is not the final uh, resting place for this desk, nor is it the final desk that'll be in this location. But over here, we've done a little bit of work. So I have shoved, this is actually a rolling, if you look down here, there's casters. Actually a homemade rolling bench that I, that I put together that actually rolls away. And uh, that is the bench that had all my computer stuff on it. I just slid it over here, put this little mat down. And now I am attempting to hang some cabinets and get some stuff organizing things. I bought these little guys here, little cobalt El Cheapo rails to, to hang some clips on so I can hang hammers and clamps and, and some accessories. And the cool part is, as I said before, that it would mess up your wall if you took the boards off. Well, mine were kind of falling off, so I didn't really have a choice. So what I'm gonna do is take and cover up the nastiness. And then I'm gonna start my other cabinet right over there. So I'm gonna put one, let's see here. Let me back up this camera a little bit. So I'm gonna put one here. That'll cover up that big ugly hole because I'm not doing drywall, this is my garage. I'm just gonna work and make it a mess anyway. And then put another one down here. So it should look pretty nice. I got some hangers, let me show you what I got. I just went to Lowe's and picked all this stuff up. Um, didn't really plan on putting nice cabinets in here, but once I got to Lowe's and started looking, uh, it just made sense to have that along with the new cabinet that I had. So here's, uh, here's the brackets. If I can get them out of the dang bag. So here's the brackets that I bought. They just hook onto the little rail here. And you can slide them all over. So they just hook on like this. And you can slide them around, hang your hammers and whatever you want on them. So got a couple of different sizes and I'm putting three up top and three at the bottom. So can hang up some stuff. But uh, right now I'm going to get the other cabinet assembled and hung. And then we'll see how this thing looks. I want to find something to put on the back wall. Not quite sure yet, but let's keep this thing rolling. All right, as you can see, I got the cabinets hung. And then I hung the little tool holder things here in the middle. Left enough room to put my standing equipment there, my tools. Still got to figure out where to put my chairs and some of that. Clean this up. I got some stuff to hang up here. Got to have that uh, pure liberty and, uh, you know, freedom. Then I got to figure out where to mount my air compressor and make my desk. So I picked up some lighting. Just cheap little rechargeable Amazon LED sensor lights. Cool thing about them, let's see if it tells you here. Yeah, they're rechargeable, they're LED, they got a magnet back, they have motion sensor. You can control the, control the brightness. They're crazy. The cool thing is, all you do to install them, it's a magnet with a sticky back on it. Now, I don't know how long this will last out here in Arizona where it gets 100 and whatever, but I put uh, one there. I put one underneath each cabinet, as you can see. I have them charging right now, so those are just the, the sticker or the magnet piece, but once I get them charged up, I'll put them up there, turn them on, and uh, show you what we got. Oh, by the way, yes, I added some more uh, decorations here. Put the little 1320 guy and finished up installing the cabinets got the little hangers done we're getting closer okay don't leave don't leave not a black screen all right so i got these things they have a motion sensing feature oh look at there here let me is this one oh yeah all right let's go over here oh look at that i just looked at it hey 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 there hey there pal not bad, they're cheap, they're not crazy bright, but enough to do work. So yeah, I'm telling you, not too bad. I think if I, I may get two more, put them on top to shine up at the 
ceiling or something. But uh, yeah, and look, you can see that one shut off. Now that one shut off. Let me walk up here. Hello, hi, I am here working. So they do what they say they're gonna do. So if you're looking for cheap lights that, you know, not too bad. I may change the amount of time they're on, but yeah, they're not too bad. Anyway, let's keep working. So I don't have any power over here, and instead of trying to feed power down this wall, and anybody who's in Arizona knows that right about here is a fire block, which is a pain in the butt to try and drill through. So, me being the hillbilly ingenuity that I am, hey, I'm not going to have a garage door in here, so I am going to take, I purchased this cool little breaker box here, little plug-in box. Got a 15 foot cord on it, so I'm going to mount this over here and run the wire on up the wall over to and plug it in. And uh, that's what's going to feed power over here because uh, that's just what I feel like doing. Here we go. Another day here. Uh, this is where we're at currently. Kind of got it cleaned up a little bit. Got my stuff for uh, doing all my shipping, my packaging and everything there. Got some more paint so I can make more of those TDS covers. Gonna figure out where to put my air compressor. I think I'm going to put it underneath my new bench. Well, let's see. What are these tires doing out here? So these are the old tires I had on my car. As you can see, they're worn down pretty good. Um, I, I won't put them back on because the car would just spin with these on. So I'm going to try and take these two and these. These are some of the old doors I had there. I'm going to use these old doors, I think, as the top. I got some spare wood over here to try and make a frame. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to try and put that with that and the tires and make a desk. And it goes a little something like this. That's good. Oh, yeah. Go on. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, we're back. Uh, so I got these screwed together. So it's one piece, more or less. You can see it's got this board underneath here. So these are now pretty flush. Not sure if I'm gonna use this whole thing. I may have to cut it down, but that's kind of what my countertop's gonna look like or the top of my desk that we're putting on these towers here. Well, I realized the wood I had sitting over there was uh, all rotted out. So heading over to Home Depot to get us some two by sixes and two by fours so we can make that uh, beautiful little desk thing we're making. Huh? Found some gloss black and let's make it pretty. Ain't nothing like a party desk. So here's the basic concept of what I'm looking to do is make this, make two of these, and put them on either side and then put the top on, and then uh, figure out what we're doing from there. But that's a start. Let's keep rolling. A little bit of progress on uh, what we're gonna have here. Starting to get the stringers put in, get the top put in, and with this board on the bottom here where I actually fastened them together, I'm gonna have to notch out right here so when I put it on there it fits flat but I'm thinking I'll put a, a brace right there I'll put one on the top side right there and then in the back I actually have another one of these black doors that I removed that I will put inside here down here leave a gap at the top for all the wires that come out of the desk to go through 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up, but I think it's going to come out pretty cool. Finishing up the paint here on the old desk. I think it's starting to look pretty good. Yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty snazzy looking little desk here. I'm going to let this thing dry and then we'll try and get it in its home. See if we can make it even cooler. Oh man, I'm excited. That's a good look. Hold on, let me sit in a chair. Oh, that's what a desk should look like right there. So here is the final view of what we got here. So now everything is nice and tidy and cleaned. We got power, we got lights. Everything is ready for me to get some work done. Moving on to the desk. All right, we got the desk all in, in its place. Kind of looks funky, I added a drawer. Yes, my daughter painted it and missed a couple of little, you know, just, just clean that up later. But got my exhaust tips on there. You know, jazz it up a little bit. Here is my new setup for work, play, YouTube, lives, all that stuff. And then I moved all my audio equipment and security system, everything over into here. And now we have the beautiful cabinet with everything in it. So let's look at that before and after. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Yes, it is St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. And you know what? Maybe we'll do some cool stuff. Uh, if you guys have other ideas for me to do uh, as far as organization or rebuilding the garage, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.